Hi, I'm Casper. Um, I am a back-end software engineer um, on the partner orders team in Zalando. And um, my pronouns are they, them, or he, him. Um, and I identify as transmasculine, which is um, kind of somewhere between non-binary and a trans man. Hi, um, my name is Anna. I am a butch lesbian and I work here at Zalando. My name is Kim Ozor. I'm gay, I use she, they pronouns. I've been working at Zalando for five years as a fashion product developer on the private label women's textile team, but I'm currently in the process of reskilling and becoming a software engineer. Hi, I'm Samet. I am a senior diversity and inclusion communications manager at Zalando, and I identify as queer. I have multiple favorite LGBT plus flags and colors, but um, I think my main one is purple because it represents the spirit of the LGBT plus community, which to me is very strong and resilient. Um, and I like to be reminded of that power in everyday life. Um, and also white um, because it represents the space in between male and female, the something else. Um, of the gender identity spectrum, which is what I identify as. It's pink. <laughs> um, honestly, for a long time, uh, I felt really uncomfortable with the fact that my favorite color was pink. Just not e even just admitting that fact, just felt somehow like I was, it was being forced on me and I just liked pink because that was what I was always dressed in my entire childhood. Um, but actually like embracing my like more butch style more masculine way of presenting i became way more comfortable with my femininity and in that owning the fact that i love the color pink my favorite color of the rainbow is green it symbolizes nature and life and it just makes me really happy my favorite color of the rainbow is probably white because i like how in color theory White contains all the colors of the color spectrum, and so it contains all the colors of the rainbow. And I also like that white in the, in the pride flag stands for gender fluidity, and that's a concept I can really identify with. I think the important thing with self-expression is being able to look and feel the way you want and have others recognize that and support that. Um, so wearing the clothes you like, having the hair, having your hair the way you want it to be, um, being able to look in a mirror and recognize yourself and act the way that you want to act and feel comfortable acting. Um, and for others in your community to support that and accept that. I feel like a community for me is a place or a collection of people, a collective, I guess, of people who share a common trait or share common beliefs and who are shaped by these beliefs or by their identity and therefore stick together and create belonging amongst each other. I like to give back to my community by being the voice for others who may not have the energy or capacity to speak up for themselves. One way I've done this is joining work council where I can represent a lot of employees, but especially I wanna represent disabled neurodivergent and LGBTQ employees because that's who I am. I've definitely, I've gained so much from being part of the LGBTQI plus community specifically because in this community, I found people who gave me hope by just existing and by representing. And I will never forget how just a few years ago, I met someone who was a queer, person of color and Muslim in Germany who was successful in life and, and open about who they are. And that inspired me a lot. And that inspired me to also hopefully be the same representation for others who are, who are yet to come. There was a couple of books I read by um, Kate Bornstein, um, who is a non-binary, um, gender activist and writer. Uh, and one of the books is called Gender Outlaw, um, and the other one is called um, My Gender Workbook. And so when I started to first question my gender identity, I went to those books and they were really helpful just to give me words to express how I was feeling. 
Um, and actually one of the first uh, like trans or non-binary things I got for myself was a little sticker that said gender outlaw. And I still have that on my laptop today to kind of as a reminder to be, to be proud of who I am. I think a really easy way to be a better ally is simply to follow LGBTQ creators on social media and to share their posts with your friends and your followers. Every person on social media has a platform no matter how small. Even if you just have 80 followers, you can still make an impact with what you share. So a resource that I would recommend to anyone um, is the, <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's the Am I a Lesbian uh, Google Doc that's been floating around on the internet for the, about the last decade. Um, even if the answer to that question for you personally is a resounding no, um, it's still really helpful to fully understand compulsory heterosexuality and heteronormativity um, and how it can impact specifically lesbians but people in the queer community at large. It helped me figure out, like, if you're Googling, am I a lesbian, then you might be a lesbian. <laughs> just, <laughs> just in a nutshell. <laughs> At the end of the day, caring about each other is kind of the whole point. That's why we're here.